guys, welcome back to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So today we are going to be reviewing and first impressions, the new bronze collection from Morphe. I also got the little brush here. I just couldn't hold it because I have little hands. I did this whole look with these items, the lip glosses, the highlighters, the palette, the bronzer, the brush, all of the good stuff. And before we get into the video, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload and become part of the hive. We have so much fun on this channel. I do so many different videos. And as always, guys, if you're already subscribed, thank you. I love you. Welcome back. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I zoomed you in so you can get a closer peep as to what I'm doing. So like I said in the intro, I am going over or doing first impression slash review of the whole Morphe bronze collection. I have the palette. I have the two bronzers. I have the lip glosses. I have the liquid highlighter and I also have the brush. So I'm really excited to get into this whole collection. Um, I honestly don't know what the name of the collection is. Maybe Glamour Bronze. I'm not sure. But it was like a whole bronze collection they dropped um, recently and I wound up getting the whole thing. I've actually had this collection for probably since it launched like I'm pretty sure I got it the day that it launched and I just haven't like there's been so much other stuff like the Kylie thing and then Madison and so much other stuff that I've had to get out where it's like crap man like I gotta get this out because it's still fresh so the palette actually retails for $25 and it is their 35 size so you get 35 pans of shadow the brush is $24, which I think is a little cray cray, but okay. The liquid highlighters are $25, and they're little mini ones. And then each bronzer, oh, sorry, let's go with the lip gloss since that's what I picked up. So each lip gloss, it's the Hot Tropic Lip Gloss Collection, which is $32, which isn't bad because you're getting five of them. And then each bronzer is $19. I did get both bronzers because I wasn't sure which one would fit my skin tone best. And again, like I said all the time, sometimes I tan. So I need a little bit of a darker one versus the lighter one. So we're going to get right into it. All right. So here is the packaging for the palette. It is the 35G Bronze Goals, 35 Shades of Bomb Bronze Looks. Bronze out and keep on glowing with these beyond creamy, highly pigmented, super blendable eyeshadows. So here's the palette itself. It looks just like the Unicarton. I am living for like the orange, bronze, goldy vibes. And here is, ooh, she is pretty. And these are my tones, by the way. Like, I know a lot of people are like, we're done with natural tones, blah, blah, neutral warm tone palettes. I love them and I can't, I just can't get enough of them. So here's the palette. Again, all the names are on this clear sheet. So bear with me if I get the names wrong because I won't, that one's a little messy. I won't keep the um, name card just because I think that's kind of ridiculous. I wish that they would put their names on their palette, but they didn't, so moving along. So first look, I think it's very pretty because these are, like I said, my tones, but I feel so underwhelmed by these shimmers. Like they're not as like pop out in your face as I assume they would be like, like gold and yellows and really shiny shimmery. But from a distance, they could all probably pass almost as matte. So, and then you have these two shades, which look like remotely close like they almost look like the same exact color and then these two shades are pretty similar and then you have these two and this one mm. so there's a couple things like in here where i'm questioning because like these two right here and right here are very similar colors just as a tad dark and it looks like you have like three or four colors down here that could probably pass as a neutral and but leans more towards cool tone instead of warm tone. So just a heads up on that. But the palette was $25. So can you really be mad? So we are gonna just dive right in and see what we're gonna do. We are going to be using first the Morphe 505, M505. And I think I'm gonna dive right into this color right here, Naked, N-E-K-K-E-D, Naked. All right, so starting off at a good note, there is not a lot of kickback in the pan, so that is really nice. And let's see about pigmentation. 
how we're looking, okay? So you'll learn as you do makeup whether something is patchy or if it's user error, like, oh crap, I just didn't have enough to blend that out. So you just have to go in with a heavier hand, that's all. All right, so I'm just kind of packing that color in to give it like a really, I want like a really dense bronze look. So I am packing it into my crease and obviously above because of my hooded eyes. All right, so I went ahead and I built up that color to give me that nice bronze look. And again, don't worry if you get it outside or it gets a little bit messy. You can always clean that up with concealer or a wipe. We're going to go into another color, which is going... So there was a little kickback after I like continuously did it, by the way, but it really wasn't that bad at all. So I'm going to next go into this color, which is Tan Up. All right, so this one I'm going to go in with the M441, which is my favorite tapered blending brush for the crease. Oh, so pretty. That's a really pretty color too. And I'm just going to go right here in the crease and just give that some depth. A little bit of depth, nothing crazy. So I went ahead and I am deepening up that crease. And then once I deepen it up like I have, if you look here, I went a little bit darker and it kind of got up top just a smidge so some of these the darker one seems to be a little more patchy it's not terrible just a little bit but i'm able to kind of blend it out with ease all right so we are gonna go in with heat wave right here and i'm going with that little morphe brush i was talking about so this darker color definitely had way more fallout okay so Let's try this again because I just tried to put color there and it's uh it's the same. All right, so just kidding. We're going to try to go in with what looks like burnt, which is a matte, a dark matte with some shimmer in it. But it's the darkest brown that isn't like really super cool tone. But that one, the um heat wave and tan up definitely are the same color. They don't look it, like one looks a little bit darker, but when I just did that on my eye, it literally did nothing. So maybe they're just too similar, I don't know. See how it, it really gave my eye more depth, like I look like I have deeper eyes. All right, so we've deepened the eye. What I'm going to do is work backwards and go to tanned up, which is not with that brush. I'm gonna go in with tanned up just lightly and kind of blend it out so it has that blended look so the top color naked i actually did not go back into it i'm just literally blending the crap out of it just to give it like more of a smooth remember this will be gone don't worry about it all right so to cut my lid i'm gonna do a cut crease but one that kind of suits me better because i do have hooded eyes so cut creases are very hard for me to do if you don't have any issues or you have found a way to do a cut crease on hooded eyes fairly quickly and nice then leave me a comment below and let me know because your girl still struggles and i've been doing makeup for a very long time <laughs> so this is the morphe eyelid primer as you guys know if you're not new to my channel i do really really love this and it is a really really decent price you're paying for it but you could definitely see it a little bit once you put it on the eye because it is not 100% translucent. All right, so now that I have the primer laid to where I'm going to put my shimmer, I'm going to go in with my MAC 230, I think it is, yeah. My MAC 230 packing brush. Which one would you have picked, the yellow gold or this light pink shimmer? I think I'm going to go in with the yellow gold, which is Soul. All right, so I have the gold on there and I'm just going to pack right over where I put the primer. So the shimmers are a bit dry. And if you have dry eyes like I do, like I have really dry eyelid skin, it kind of is like tugging. Okay, so if you notice, I went in with a little bit of a darker color on the lid. I went in with this one right here, which is Island Life. So it is more of a bronzer color just because I felt like with as dark as this was, that this bright ass yellow gold was just like real weird. This palette seems to be a little bit of a chaos. I'm not gonna lie, like some work, some don't. It's kind of getting on my nerves. So I'm going back in with that tanned up color, which is that like, like brown red color. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend right where the line is where that shimmer ends all right so now that I have gone in with that I'm gonna go in with that darker color again which was burnt and I'm going to give it a little shimmy on the corner Okay, so I am right now going to be done with the palette. We're gonna move on to the next step, which I have to first put on my foundation and concealer, and then we will move on. So I will go do that off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I went on ahead and I put on my foundation and my contour and my powder and all that good stuff. And, and now I am going to be going in finishing my under eye with the palette. I think I'm going to be taking naked and tanned up and just giving it a little dusting under the eye. So the first one I'm going to go in with is going to be that smaller M506 brush and I'm gonna go in with Tanned Up, which is the darker color. And just follow that same line of where my under eye is. So it matches up here, which gives me that smoky effect. I'm gonna go into that bigger blending brush, which is the 505, into Naked, which is that lighter color that we started with and just blending right over and almost below it, if that makes any kind of sense. See where I'm going? All right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead in and I'm gonna do my lower lash mascara. And just let you guys know, I have not been wearing lashes lately because I've been trying the new, the not new, but the Collab mascara in the works because I've seen a lot of talk about it. I know Tati talks about it on her channel. So I've been really wanting to just test it out. So I have been for like, two and a half, three weeks. So that video will be up hopefully sometime this week. I didn't just do mascara, I actually did quite a few of the items. So you'll have to uh, see my thoughts on that. All right, so let's see. I couldn't do my blush because I had to go in with my bronzer. So let's talk bronzer. So I did get both bronzers and again, they are 19. This one is Icon, which is the lighter one. And this one is Mega Star. So this is a cute packaging. Again, it comes in and it is really, really big. So it comes with a mirror, which is really nice. But let's take a look at this. Look how big this is. Like next to my hand, it's almost the size of my hand. Like this thing is humongous. So I'll be going in with my tried and true, the Morphe M30. And I swear to you guys, this video is not sponsored. I just really like these. So let's see what we have here. Oh, we have a bit of kickback in the pan so just be mindful of that and I'm gonna go ahead and just bronze it up a little and see how this light color that actually looks really nice because I did not think that this light color was really gonna do it for me but it really actually is quite freaking nice oh okay all right so I do feel like it's really good if you want to go like light, you're worried that you'll be too orange or too bronze because I feel like I do have to keep dipping in, dipping in, and dipping in. All right, and I'm actually gonna go down my nose a little with the icon color, but I'm gonna be using my Marc Jacobs, um, the shadow brush. All right, and I'll go ahead and I will show you the other bronzer, although I'm not going to be using it because it'll be a little bit dark for me today. But it is in the same packaging, same beautiful size. Ooh, yes. Okay, so this is for more tan to deeper skin tone. However, I kind of wish that they had a little bit of a darker color, but these two are a good option. Oh, I forgot I had a brush for it. Oh, I'm so upset. All right, I'm gonna go back in. We're just gonna be hella bronze today. So the brush is actually fairly heavy. I'm not gonna lie. And we're gonna just, oh my God. So the problem is this is like, it seems strangely big to be bronzing. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's a little big for my face. <laughs> That's a problem because I don't really have, like obviously I have a fat face, but I don't have a very large area space of face. If that makes space of face, what's happening to me right now? 
Anyways, so the brush is like kind of big, much bigger than I prefer for a uh, bronzer. <laughs> so, see the size difference? So I don't know if I would so much think that this is a necessity. I would definitely pass on this. I think it's a waste of money because it's just really, unless you're doing like a body bronze, which I guess you could do, but I just don't, I don't think that this is necessary. It's very cute. It's good quality. I just think it's not necessary. Moving on. Okay, so I still feel like I have I've just put my blush on. I still feel like really, really like flat for some reason. Maybe it's just the camera. It'll look better on the computer. I don't know. Probably not. I'll probably still look just as gross, but that's okay. All right, so liquid luster is what this is. So this one is in strobe and it is a pink one. And then you have optic, which is more of a light gold one. And then we're going to go with Flare, which is more of a rose gold one. And the last one is going to be Flash, which is a gold gold one. I'm going to go in with the pink one. No, I think I'm going to go in with Optic. So it comes with a little dropper. I'm going to drop some on my hand. Oh, oh. I'm going to drop some on my hand. You probably don't need that much, to be honest. A little bit is going to probably go a long way when it comes to liquid highlighter. So I'm going to take my beauty blender, and I'm just going to lightly dab into it, but then dab on the other part of my hand, and then just go right up here where I would put my highlighter. And see how that sets. Oh! Yes! Okay, so right off the bat, it is blinding okay so I'm here for these I think that these are 100% worth the money and I believe that they were I believe they were 32 but I'll go ahead and I'll check in a minute to give you the exact price I don't know I think that these would definitely definitely 100% be worth every freaking penny get these not just for the summer girl get these for every day here is the only negative I will say that I have with this product it picks up my blush and my foundation like I'm gonna pull in close you probably cannot see it because these damn beauty lights um, it lifted a lot of my blush and some of my foundation so take that into account where this looks really nice but here in person like you can definitely see the last but certainly not least, lip glosses. So I'm here for these. I'm so here for these. And you get two, four, five lip glosses and I will go ahead and swatch them all on my hand. But first I'm gonna pick one to put on my face and I'm probably gonna go with this darker one. I actually have no lip products I think from Morphe. No, I have no lip products for Morphe. So this one is in the shade Sauced. I'm not going to swatch it because I'm going to go ahead and put it here on my lips. Okay, so it kind of smells like banana boat tanning lotion. Like, it feels really comfortable to wear. It isn't super thick. It's not sticky. So I do like that. So I'll go ahead and put those up here. So you can see them. This one is sauced. This one, the next one is Sunny's Punch, Kiss Kiss, and then Beach Goals. So they're all very pretty. They are all very comfortable to wear, I feel like. So, but other than that, all in all, I think that this was a beautiful collection. It's reasonably priced. As always, their stuff is so cheap that I just like, why? Why are you so cheap? What is wrong with what you're selling? Or are all the other companies just screwing us? I don't know. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. But that is it, guys, for today's review and video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.